bit of an issue when we checked in. Kyle called me to go inside. They could not find our reservation. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last episode on Red, White, and Bethune, we headed to our new boondocking spot. First though, we stopped off at Wall Drug to see what that was all about. And you guys, look at this view. This is so epic. But we did have a crazy storm roll through. They had to clean off some solar panels and we got to camp with some really cool folks. Let's see what's going on this episode. Hey everybody, we are proudly uploading this video with Nomad Internet. If you need some mobile internet solutions, check down in the description below. We have a really cool $30 off code that you can use. Check it out and uh, let's get to the video. All right, you guys, we are headed out. We are leaving. We ran out of water. Multi-purpose tank is almost full. We are headed out because we're gonna try and get into a park dump our tanks for a week, kind of chill out. This is where we break off from Project Trek. We'll be on our own for a little bit, enjoying the ride. I'm gonna get cleaned up and we'll get you guys in the driver's seat with Kyle momentarily. Hey right, guys, we are pulling out a Nomad View We're here in the Badlands. We, uh, we've been here four nights. We pretty much used up all of our resources. All of our fresh water's gone. All of our wastewater is storage is full so we're gonna head out we're gonna head to another little campground for a couple days we're waiting on a reservation in Rapid City at a really cool park but it's been great it's been a beautiful view it's been really hot the last couple days so I'm, I'm gonna be glad to get some uh, plenty of power from the shore and run both these ACs but I'm gonna I'll show you guys I don't know Jen if I do do it I'll insert it here I'm gonna I'll put a pin to where this place is. If you're ever in this area and you like boondocking at all, you definitely gotta come check it out. It's a really great place. Um, but yeah, it's been great. We'll pick you guys up here in a little bit. And um, yeah, see you guys shortly. So our dog Eloise just peed on our pillow. I, I don't even know, like she, we were laying on the bed. She hops up there and pees on the pillow. Anyway, where are you taking the kids? To the pool and try to fight off some of this heat. It's blistering hot here today. Could you imagine boondocking out there today? It's too hot. So they're gonna do that, but I've gotta get all the sheets off of the beds, cause since we're gonna have to wash our sheet, we're just gonna wash everybody's bedding um, and get it all done at once. But they're gonna take you guys to the pool. As you guys know, Eloise pissed on our blankets, so we have to wash those. Kyle took the kids down to the pool to let them cool off, but the breaker at this pedestal keeps tripping. Now I don't have any air in the bus because the breaker keeps tripping, so we don't have any power. And our batteries were like drained. So I don't know what we're doing at this point. I have no idea what we're doing at this point. What are you doing? blowing a bunch of hot air, <gasps> doing an Instagram giveaway. And so the balloons were half price if we didn't fill them up with helium. And since we didn't need the helium, I'm just gonna tape them on the side of the bus anyway. Yeah, that was a bad, that was a bad life choice of mine. Well, you so. Got, you got plenty of hot air. These balloons are the only things I'll be blowing up tonight. At the boondocks campground, the electric was super iffy. The breakers were not working right, and so we had to really lower the power on the batteries. We did get it all figured out. We only had a couple of days in New Underwood. There really wasn't much that went on. However, we had a really cool milestone. We hit 5,000 Instagram followers, and we're still doing a giveaway over on Instagram. If you hop over there, I'll leave the link below to that post. But we did a little photo shoot. I did not know this, but my husband, bless his little heart, smashed cake in my face. Uh, he thought that that would be pretty funny. And honestly, seeing the joy on his face for smashing me with a cake kind of made it worth it. He was like super happy to do that. But if you want to get in on that giveaway, hop over to our Instagram after you finish watching our video. You can join and enter the giveaway too. It's going until June 
30th. All right, guys, so we stopped back over in New Underwood after we left boondocking. We spent the last couple days just kind of hanging out. Did score a pretty cool reservation over at Hart Ranch in Rapid City. So we're going to be pulling out here in a few minutes to go there. It is blowing a gale today. It's like been a constant 30 mile per hour wind. It's supposed to let up a little bit in the afternoon. But I want to show you guys how I hook up the Jeep on travel days. Had a lot of questions over the years about how we do that. So I want to show you guys, and there's not going to be any talking because it's blowing hard as hell outside. So I'll just take you guys, show you what we do on travel day. All right, so we got the Blue Ox tow bar hooked up and we got the safety chains hooked up. So now what I have to do is come in here. Don't mind my messy car. Jeep is running, so I put it over in neutral. I'm sorry, neutral. Let off the brake. Push the brake back in. So here is our four-wheel drive shifter. It goes two high, four high, neutral, and four low. So pull it down, and then over, and then down one more. All right. It is now in neutral. So what I'd like to do is put it in drive just to confirm that it does is it, it is not in gear. All right. Put it in park and shut it off. I typically like to start it up again, just to check. I'll run it through the gears, usually in reverse, neutral, drive. Confirm again that it is not in drive. Go back out to park, and it's off. Here. These are our tow lights for when we're pulling the bus. There's a transmitter, I don't know if you can see it, right up there on the bike rack. There's a wireless transmitter to these rear tow lights. So it gives all the signals from the bus to the Jeep. They're battery powered. I just got these pretty recently. I, I haven't had much luck with working off of the Jeep towing lights. I've had the wired ones and they're a pain in the butt. I really like these quite a bit. What you do is you just pull them out. Like I say, they're connected together. They're battery powered and they transmit off that transmitter to the rear of the Jeep. And I just stick them on the side of the Jeep and uh, that, that's what we do. Pretty easy setup. All in all, it takes me about 15 minutes to do it all, if that. But it's something we do quite a bit. So I got quite a bit of practice. Let's just make sure you do everything right and then double check it. Cause it's pretty important stuff for safety and you know, you could really damage a lot of stuff really quick. All right guys, we are pulling out of the uh, Boondocks Campground in New Underwood, South Dakota. We have enjoyed our time here they've got a local pool and we've been kind of just relaxing charging our batteries literally and figuratively uh, but we're heading west toward rapid city we're staying at a supposed pretty awesome park for a few days um so we're only about 45 minutes out we're gonna head over there once we get there i'll bring you guys in and show you what it looks like from the road and then we will show you once we get everything set up but we're gonna hop on the freeway and fight this 30 mile hour wind for 45 minutes. All right guys, it looks like we have made it. This place is massive, so we're gonna go see if we can find where we're supposed to check in. Check in, and I will bring you guys back in to the site. So, there it is. We just pulled in, we got here. This looks so cool, like this park, we might renew our RPI membership depending on like how well this goes. We're really excited. Take a look. They even have a little gas station over here, the Heart Mart. Isn't that cute? But it's a really cute park. Kyle's gonna go check us in and then we will get with you guys once we get to the site. Well, we had a little bit of an issue when we checked in. Kyle called me to go inside. They could not find our reservation, and so Kyle got a little panicky. We had to look it up online. Our reservation was indeed there. It just didn't get received on Hearts End. We're awesome, like super nice, very, very sweet, wonderful office staff. So now we're gonna unhook, then we're gonna get to our site. All right, we did finally get everything worked out, so we're heading to our site. This is a really nice campground. It's massive. I mean, it is several hundred sites. Uh, it appears to be mostly all concrete pads, which is pretty cool. Something we're not very used to. But um, yeah, we're gonna get set up or parked and um, probably take you guys around and show you the park a little bit. So we are at the pickleball courts at the play or at the campground and we are gonna kick some bootay in pickle ball. Then we're gonna go to the pool. Won't you so, me another, I'm going in. So wish me good luck Yeah, gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost Let's turn up the love No, it is Way too late, but I just can't get my eyes We decided
decided after pickleball that it was freaking hot and we needed to come down to the pool and hang out. And I think everybody else had the same idea. We are insanely happy with this campground. It's amazing and phenomenal. Like, it's awesome. Like, we really, really enjoyed our time here. Look at all the people. This pool is so great. They even have a kid's hot tub, an adult hot tub, and then a teenage hot tub. So that way everybody has their own hot tub. So much space. It's really cool. We're gonna go to the ice cream social in 10 minutes. Hey guys, so we're here at the campground at Hart Ranch in just south of Rapid City. The kids are doing an activity while I and Jen. Uh, they're doing tie-dye, so we're gonna take you guys in there. We got a pretty cool trip planned for this evening. Gonna go try to see some pretty cool wildlife. So we're gonna bring you guys with us. Go check out Custer State Park. Did you get your one? I got a tank top. What are you doing? Do you know what you're doing? No. No, you don't know? I have to go, where I need I think you can just kind of do whatever you want. Yeah. No idea what you're doing? Yeah, you're doing little buttons. That's good. I've seen this. I mean, normally I'm creative, but like, this is out of my comfort zone. You're out of your realm? Your realm. Yeah. yeah. Molly's over here owning it. I know how to do tie-dye. I've done it out of Tie-dyeing was a bust. We hope you enjoyed that footage of us, like, tying up the shirts because they ran out of dye. We stood in a line for an hour and they ran out of dye. Some of the families had like eight shirts for like three kids. A lot of the families took advantage and they just bought a whole bunch of shirts which then let other kids not be able to do it, which really was crappy. But anyway, what are we doing, babe? We're driving through Custer State Park in South Dakota, Custer, South Dakota. It's supposed to be one of the best wildlife drives in the in the country. So we waited to come late in the afternoon, early evening. So supposedly that's when the wildlife is moving. So we're gonna find out. If you guys have followed us for any stretch of time, you know that we have no luck when it comes to seeing wildlife. Kyle has wanted to see bears a lot. How many years we've been going to the dang Smokies and never seen any dadgum bears. Hopefully we're gonna see some cool stuff on this drive, and if not, then we'll just smile and make the best of it. All right, everybody, get prepared because we're seeing some damn wildlife today. All right, this is exciting. There's a little buffalo man in the road over here. 